As you can see, work on winding Britannia Road here in Milton is currently underway, not only to service development and residential communities here on the north side, but to also get it ready for future development to the south. Development that is called the Britannia Secondary Plan. The lands associated with the Britannia Secondary Plan covers north and south of Britannia Road and west of Trafalgar. Still in the planning stages, this future development will accommodate nearly 50,000 residents with 12 elementary schools, four high schools and create just under 11,000 jobs. A public meeting about this was held on the July 18th regular council meeting where some delegates, including Councillor Rick DiLorenzo, say the town needs to be more ambitious. To do more in regards to having walkable communities, in regards to bike plans, to not build the same old, same old we've been doing in the past, but to look to see in the future and have more of a community that's interconnected that allows us to walk to the major commercial plazas, bike to school, bike, bike and walk around our areas. Now, we do live in a car-centric world, but in my, in my opinion, we need to be a little bit more aware of we are living in a climate emergency and residents want communities that they can walk and bike and have other modes of transportation like transit, not just cars. One example of DiLorenzo's wish for the town to think creatively when it comes to this new development include segregated bike paths. We have uh, the bike path not always on the main road. If you have a 10 or 12 year old, you may not com feel comfortable having your child ride his bike on Bronte or on, or on Thompson or on some of the arterial roads. Have, have the bike lanes separate from the road traffic. It, it helps promote better safety and it also makes uh, people feel more comfortable riding their pike, getting around the community. So some things I liked is the amount of parks. We were asking for more of the neighborhood smaller parks that are walkable, not always just building these large mega parks, because then you have to like drive your car to it. So having the neighborhood community parks where you can walk to from your house, I like that. I like the town did everything they could to maximize the park space. I really like that. And I like that we have some uh, natural heritage areas, 16 Mile Creek, others being incorporated on that. So as much as we can to preserve our natural green space and our, and our heritage. Another important aspect to the Britannia Secondary Plan is on what the town can do now to work with the province for future funding into schools. Because we've seen the, the mess and the headaches that happen when our schools get developed and built late, about children being able to transfer from school to school, about holding schools, about students being have to bus to Oakville and Burlington. We, we do have a major problem with schools. And we're, we want to ask the province, can we do that a little bit more of, of, of even to have the school funding up front so the schools are built with the communities? Councillor DiLorenzo has asked that staff come back with more integrated and active transportation options in the upcoming 2023 budget process, which isn't scheduled to happen until after the municipal election in October. For Halton News in Milton, I'm Melissa Candelaria.